Janine Pirro asked the Fox News panel who they believed was a greater threat to the U.S., Russian President Vladimir Putin, or Special Counsel Robert Mueller. Standing in for President Donald Trump's favorite, Sean Hannity on Friday night, Pirro asked her guests, is Mueller a greater threat than Russian President Vladimir Putin to this country? And NRA TV's Dan Bungino was quick to respond, well, he's a serious threat, Bungino said of Mueller, he's based his entire operation, the investigation of Donald Trump on a sham. Let's just use the FBI's own words, the head of the FBI talking about the bedrock of the case, the dossier, said it's salacious or unverified. The number two in the FBI said they'd have no case if it wasn't for the salacious and unverified dossier, he said in defense of the president, they're investigating Trump for nothing, he added. And guest Charlie Kirk, the founder of Turning Point USA, was also quick to chime in with the issues he believes the special counsel's investigation is causing, it's tough to say. Mueller's doing so much damage to this country right now, Kirk said when asked by Pirro if Mueller was a greater threat to the U.S. than Putin. Keep up with this story and more by subscribing now. I'm focused on who approved Mueller in the first place. It was Republicans in Congress that decided to appoint a special prosecutor with basic unlimited authority, unlimited power to go after the president, and what have they turned up? Well, they found Paul Manafort, not on Russian collusion, which was the original intent of the special prosecutor, but on tax and wire fraud. They have zero, none, interference, no evidence whatsoever, he added. The panel's comments come as Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani suggested negotiations over an interview between the special counsel and the president are down near the end. In an interview with The Hill last Thursday, Giuliani suggested that he wouldn't be agreeing to all of the requests made by Mueller's team over the interview, but explained, we're not giving them a straight turn down. He added he hoped what the special counsel's team wanted was in the realm of debatable and negotiable.